Hi y'all, so we are in the Target parking lot. I just came out of there. I was gonna film in there, but I literally could not find anything that I needed. Only have like one bag and it has paper towels, some body wash, and then some face wash for Deontay. And that's all, but it was more stuff that I wanted to get. Now I followed the app, I looked on the app and I was just looking through everything that I wanted and I made a list for myself. But like navigating through the, the Target in my area is super, super hard because like they have these aisles on the app but some of the aisles don't have aisle numbers on them because they have the Alta in there. So you can't tell if it's like something that's included in the Alta section or is it something included in the actual like their aisles, if that makes sense. I can just be slow because I really don't know how to like, I don't have really good like direction skills. So it could be me, like I can be slow like that, but I just... I just couldn't find anything so I, what I'm gonna do is just do an online order because it was something I need to get as a gift which I know will come on time because they have the two like day delivery shipping thing so that's not a problem but it was something that I wanted to actually see for myself but I'm just gonna have to take that chance because the way my social anxiety and being around people is I just had to get up out of there because I don't want to keep wandering around the store walking in circles and people think i'm following them is this a whole awkward encounter in there so that's my little target rant but just for my area because like everybody be making hygiene shopping look like a breeze in their targets but when it comes down to me i'm like i literally cannot find what they're trying to say that they got i don't see it so that's just my thing but i'm about to get back home I was going to do a little haul, but I guess not. But maybe it's a reason because I have to clean my hygiene closet in the first place. So why should I add more junk in there? Doesn't make sense. So that's what we're about to do. Head home, tackle this closet, and just see what the day brings. All right, so we are back at the crib. And this is the bag that I got from Target. And when I tell y'all this three items cost me $22, I am sick. Like, this is why I go to the dollar store and I am going to go to the dollar store this Saturday because I cannot keep doing this to myself. Like, we're not going to keep doing this. So, this was a two-pack of paper towels. Um, This was $3.99, which wasn't too bad, but I usually can get, like, the six-pack with the double rolls from Dollar General for, like, six bucks. Maybe seven at max. Uh, like, the sparkle one, maybe, like, seven ninety eight. You know, almost $8, but that's... That's for six double rolls, which equates to 12. But that's how they get y'all, because it's not 12 rolls. It's really six rolls, but look. Mm. I got this uh, face oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena for Deontay. They used to have one called Deep Clean. This one's really close to it, but it's not the same thing. I don't know if they discontinued Deep Clean or it just, they don't sell it at like Target or local stores anymore. I know they said they had it in stock at Walmart, but Walmart be lying. Because every time they say they have it in stock, when I look in the aisle, I don't see it. But like I said, my sense of direction is just not, I overlook things a lot. So it's probably just me. And I need to just stick to just getting things online because the whole thing with online shopping has just changed everything for me. So that's what I need to do. But this is only the one thing that I'm really excited for. Oh, but that Neutrogena stuff is expensive though, but it really works. It's about like 10 bucks, which is a lot, like 9.49. That's a lot, but it works. This coconut coffee scrub, y'all. If y'all watch any of my hygiene hauls where I got the body cream, this is the stuff that I was talking about um, that pairs with that. It's the same brand, same thing, but when you do it all together, I'm telling you, you be smelling like a Starbucks Frappuccino, baby. It smells so freaking good. Now we got this. I know that uh, Tree Hut has like a body scrub called Iced Coffee. I haven't tried it yet, but I've been doing this OGX uh, coffee scrub and wash like back in my high school days when I saw this at Rite Aid and I was like, you know, I'm gonna try it. And I, I have been buying it ever since. Now the lotion is almost gone, y'all. I'm about to go get it so I can show y'all. It's like half full. I broke the top because I use it so much. Um, It's half full. This is when I got it from Ross from that little haul I got on my channel. But I've been pairing this with a lot of different things like my sandalwood uh, body spray by Scent Happy, which is empty right now. Um, but yeah, this is the two product combo that you need in your life. If you're really into coconut, vanilla, coffee bean type of scents, this is for you. 
Um, while we're talking about hygiene products, I do have some empties in my closet that I was going to share for another video. I just kept all the empties together so I can share them. But since we're cleaning out the closet, I should share them in this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and include that in this video. All right, y'all. So this is the horror of my hygiene closet. It is, it's not as bad as it could be. It's been worse, but we we trying to fix that. We not trying to live an unorganized life. We trying to be be better. All right, so we're gonna get into organizing her. And y'all, please, 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 please excuse the noise because Deontay is literally streaming in this room, like over here. So yeah, enjoy the background chaos. But we're gonna get into organizing her, getting everything out. I'm gonna get all the empties out because that's what I'm gonna discuss after we finish the whole organization process. Now I do want to show y'all the system that I had going on, so it makes more sense when y'all see me kind of rearranging the products. Right, so I'm going to show y'all the system that I was working with. So the top part was supposed to be my body washes, lotions, and sprays going into these little two like canister things, which you can see is empty and all the products on the outside. So I need to put them back in there. The middle was supposed to be my hair care and stuff. So I have my oils, moisturizers, leave-in conditioners, conditioners, and shampoos. There's also products in one of these uh, like cube organizer things. The middle was miscellaneous, as y'all can see. It is very miscellaneous. I got hair products, skincare products, nail polishes, etc. over here. But it's not supposed to be looking this unorganized. All the hair stuff is supposed to be up here. And the only thing that's really mainly on this row would be my skincare and then these nail polishes and then like Q-tips, you know, little things that I can restock the bathroom with. The middle was supposed to be all the gift sets and things that I had this unopened or, you know, just still kind of new that I've been kind of savoring until I can get some product combinations. But as you can see, all my empties are kind of in this shelf along with my skincare. Uh, this one was supposed to be fresh towels, um, things like my robe and things I will use when I get out the shower, about to get in the shower. And as you can see, that's all tossed everywhere. Got hair tools there. And the last one is hair tools, all my heat styling tools, um, combs, brushes, rollers, blow dryers, everything of the sort, which is in the right section, but it's just all awful and disorganized. I just threw everything in there. So we're going to get it right. I'm going to be playing some Christmas music and hopefully that drowns out the sounds that's coming from there. all that organizing and forgot to put these two back i had these on my kitchen counter when i was talking to y'all so i gotta go back up here get those bins throw that in there and whatnot i did get a lot of progress done as far as the like middle three rolls but i did share um share i did save the middle one with all the hair care products and the bottom one with the hair care products as well for last because it's a lot to go through and i kind of want to sort it to bring all the things that i use the most to the front and put all the things that i don't really use like that to the back so i'm gonna show y'all that in just a second here it's not really that unorganized it's just a lot of stuff going on down here I just where I keep all my heat tools so this is all the hair tools that I have 
here and I just keep most of the things in their original boxes. The only thing that's not in this original box is my blow dryer brush, which is in here. And we're gonna go through these things, see what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna throw away or what I'm going to kind of just put to the back because I don't use it as often and yeah. Everything is pretty much neat and organized. The only thing that we have left to do are the shampoos and conditioners. And like I said, I'm going to put the most used in the front and the least used in the back. And I'm still going to do it how I had it before with on the sides of these. Because everything that's in the middle is like all the oils, leave-in conditioners and things like that that I use throughout the week. But I do want to have open access to my shampoos and conditioners. So we're just going to go ahead and get that organized right now. And then everything is going to be done and all set. All right, so my closet is fully organized. I'm so happy with what it looks like. I no longer have to just go through everything just to find one product. Everything is in plain view. Everything is clean, clear, and organized. I do want to get some acrylic organizers just to get like everything in one spot and create more space, but I'm fine with it like this for the time being. I am going to go through to do these hygiene product empties because... My battery is screaming at me, so I want to hurry up and get this done so I can fit it all in this episode so we can focus on tomorrow's episode. So if it's not organized or as detailed as the other videos that I do on my hygiene product empties, I do apologize. So first product I do have is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Shave Oil. This stuff is bomb. I did mention this in my other hygiene product empty videos that I like to use shave oils and shave gels rather than traditional shaving cream because I just find that I have left less ingrowns when I use a oil or a gel. So this is one of the oils that I've tried and it is super, super, super fantastic and it smells so good. I had the trio that had the body uh, sugar scrub and the body butter with this and it smells wonderful when you use all of them together. But I will rate this product a 10 out of 10 because less ingrowns, very moisturizing for my skin and the smell overall. Moving on, I mentioned this in the last video, so I'm just going to be brief about this. This is the Calgon Hawaiian Ginger Body Spray. Just get it. I'm not even going to say anything about it, but it's a 10 out of 10. Go watch my other video where I rented and raved about this. Super, super good. And I, yes, another one is empty, so you know it's good. Can't say I never did nothing for y'all. <laughs> now moving on into a hair product. This is the Aussie uh, Detangling Spray. Um, Total Miracle Detangling Spray. This is outstanding for natural hair. When I say outstanding for natural hair, thick hair, curly hair, coarse hair, whatever you have is outstanding. Because I feel like I have a combination of all. So this stuff 
is really good especially when you have a leave-in conditioner and then you spray this on your hair like on a wash day where you have the most knots and tangles this works so well all you have to do is just put like about i'll say like four spritz on your hair starting from the ends working your way up and then once you get the comb through it with the leave-in conditioner it's so so easy it just goes through and glides through your hair and i love the smell of this i think yeah it's apricot it smells so good all the products smell good i have the coconut um miracle coils uh shampoos and conditioners smell so good aussie is always a 10 out of 10 their products just work so good for all hair types and all textures so we love them so this is a 10 out of 10 as a product so we so far we have three 10 out of 10s to another hair product i do want to talk about is this mega growth um deep conditioner for um anti-breakage this stuff is good it lasts me so so long i've used this for years i've had this for a long time though um i used to use them a long time ago it smells so good it has like a jolly rancher smell i think i said that about everything but it smells super super good if i had to rate this i would rate it a I'll rate it a 7 out of 10. The only reason why I'll give it a 7 out of 10 is because it is super, super thick for a deep conditioner. Now, deep conditioners are usually thick, but this is like thick, but like jelly kind of thick, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, it's like really... But it does coat all my strands. I do find it pleasure, but it did make my hair feel really like strong like but a hard strong if that makes sense so i get like the agents and it does make your hair super super strong but sometimes it makes it like too tough for me to actually comb through so that's why i have to like after i wash this out i go in with this and a leave-in conditioner and have to go through this but i did find this making my hair feel a little bit stiff but it does do the job of making my hair feel moisturized and a lot better so it's like a 50 50 thing it's like it makes your hair feel crunchy for the first half after you know use it with your heating cap or whatever but then once you get into the detangling and styling the detangling is kind of rough but then the styling it looks great because like your curls are popping so it's like which one like it's better the curls popping or like the hard detangling it's like i don't know but i would still like recommend it though it's a good deep conditioner i i don't have any problems with it but that is just making my hair feel a little bit stiff so that's a seven out of ten here we have Cozy Cabin by Scent Happy. If you don't know what Scent Happy is, it's a dollar store brand. They carry it at Dollar General. I think they carry it at um, Pop Shelf, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I think I've seen it there, though. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, one of the alternative brands for, like, other things, like Bath and Body Works or whatever. It's just, like, the dollar store thing. Like, Body Fantasies is like that and Body Ecology. All of those brands, I told y'all not to sleep on them because they have some good scents. Just because they're not the, you know original name brand doesn't mean they don't smell good okay i give everything a try but this y'all this smells so good i told y'all i'm a warm scent fall scent type of girl and this just hit all the marks across the board um this is the vanilla and sandalwood that's the fragrance notes and it smells just like that if i pair this with my ogx body um coffee body cream smells heavenly it's just like a coconutty dream and i love it i will give this a I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 because it is a little bit like it sprays, it sprays out a lot. It's nothing in here for me to show y'all. But it sprays out a lot when you spray it. And I'm the type of person I like to mist it all over. And it just like have my skin like drenched and wet. It's not alcohol -y though. I don't think it has any alcohol or anything like that in it. Oh, well, yes, it does. I take that back. It does have alcohol in it, but it doesn't have that alcohol-y smell. It's more like watery on so it doesn't like uh, my skin doesn't absorb it if that makes sense it just seems like it lays on top of my skin and a lot of it comes out so that's why i would give it a point off but the smell makes up for the difference i'm really trying to hurry because my battery is really 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 like telling me girl put me on a charger all right so we got in the stars by bath and body works this is a lotion smells super good um what are those fragrance notes sandalwood musk Sugar Tangelo, 
white argan wood radiant amber i do smell the sandalwood like that vanilla shea buttery smell that's what attracted me to it um but sugar tangelo i do smell that too now i don't know about the any anything else but this smells really really good it's kind of like into the night but like just a little less strong but it smells so good it still has a strong scent that's long lasting so i will give this a eight out of ten um it's nothing wrong with it it's just hard to pair with other things um especially with the like all right so my battery did die on me so i had to let it charge for a little bit so i'm still going to be like a little fast but the only thing that i was saying about this is that i gave it an 8 out of 10 because it's hard to pair with other things like it's hard to find things like you can use that sandalwood um thing by cozy cabin um by i sent happy i mean you can use that but it's also like that sugar tangelo kind of smell that's with it it does kind of make it smell a little I don't know what to really like how they really explain it like it's far beyond vanilla it has like that fruit kind of smell with it so it's hard to kind of combine it with something it's like do i put another fruit product on or do i put another like coconut sandalwood shea butter scent on but other than that it smells good that's probably one of the ones that you have to use the whole trio with the shower gel body wash i mean shower gel body lotion and spray and last but not least, so we can knock this out the park, this is the Suave uh, Cherry Blossom Deodorant. Um, this, I would just go ahead and rate it. I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I would give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. All right, so the camera died on me again, so I'm sorry. If you made it to the end of this video, I'm sorry for being such a hot mess. But this was supposed to be a 7 out of 10. I said I would give it a 6 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 um, because it doesn't have a bad smell, and it does really work like under your arms and things like that with you know not being a little musty and really like getting all the absorbing the sweat and whatnot under your arms. But... It's hard to pair with something just like the uh, In The Stars lotion. And also, like, it smells like cherry blossom, but after a while, like, it doesn't smell like that anymore. It has, like, a weird, like, floral smell that doesn't smell really good. Like, have y'all had anything that was, like, lavender, but it gave off, like, that still, that kind of musty kind of scent? That's what it did, and I didn't really like that. And this was, I made the mistake by getting a twin pack of this and this was the only deodorant that I had. I didn't have any more powder fresh deodorant. So no matter what um, shower scent combination I did, I had to wear it with that and it would just take over the whole shower scent combination. So it is a strong smell if that's what you're looking for. But after a while, it doesn't really give cherry blossom anymore. It gives something different that I just didn't like. So that's why it would get a six and a half out of 10. But overall, that was just all I had for the pro hygiene product empties. Just a little bit of things um, because it hasn't even been a full month yet. But I just want to include it so I can get it out of the closet so the closet can stay clean. But I'm just going to wrap up this vlog here. Sorry it wasn't that many Christmas vibes in this vlog. I tried, but then I failed at Target because Target didn't have what I needed. So there's that. But I hope you all just enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.